Hi, this is Gina at Art of Skin Care. Today, I wanna to show you how to use Adipo Active Cream and get the best results from this cream. So I'm gonna be talking about the kind of cleansers that work best with it, as well as toners and serums that you can put underneath it. There's also a special way that you need to use Adipo in order for it to be effective. So let's get started. Step one in getting great results with Adipo is cleansing. You wanna have well cleansed skin. Well cleansed skin drinks more nutrients. So if your skin is really nice and clean, that Adipo is gonna be able to get in there and go to work. Now one thing to know about Adipo is it does travel through the hair follicle. So we wanna make sure that our hair follicles stay clear. That means we're not getting blackheads, we're not getting a buildup of sebaceous filaments in the pores. We wanna keep it really clear. And the way I choose to do that is with Dr. Este. This is the Deep Clear Powder Wash. This is an enzyme cleanser. Enzymes digest away the dull, dead skin cells on the surface of the skin and also the cellular debris that builds up in the pores. It does this in a very gentle way. So this is a powder cleanser. Oops, I'm put a little powder in my hands and I get the other hand wet and I wanna create a nice creamy foam. Now I'm gonna use that to cleanse my skin. When using Adipo, you wanna pay special attention to that T-zone. Really get that T-zone clean. That means your nose, around your mouth, and this area, and going up through the forehead. That's where your oil glands are the largest. And we wanna keep those really nice and clear so that your Adipo can get in there and do its work. Step two of prepping for your Adipo cream is getting the proper toner on your skin. You want to use a toner that has a little bit of actives in it. You never want to use anything too harsh or strong. Today, I am using the Natural Youth Lotion from Rhonda Allison. This has a little bit of lactic acid in it. That lactic acid is gonna give me a little bit of exfoliation and help keep the pores from getting a buildup in them. You might, you may also like to use a bubble prep toner. Those kind of toners or a, a toner pad can work really well that has some active ingredients in it. I'm going to use the Natural Youth Lotion. And I'm particularly paying attention to the T-zone area. When you apply your toner, don't just do a quick swoosh, swoosh, swoosh and be done. Actually get in and massage and work it into the skin so those active ingredients can get in there and do their job. You could use a skin brightening toner if you wanted to address hyperpigmentation. You can use a mandelic toner if you want to address a tendency towards breakouts or you want to brighten. Mandelic is also brightening. All right, I wanna let that toner dry on the skin and do its job. The next thing that you can do before you apply your Adipo is you can apply any supportive serums that you want to use. What kind of serums would be supportive to rebuilding um, your fat pad, um, redensifying the skin? You wanna choose serums that have things like cytokines in them, growth factors in them, um, MEP in there, which is going to bind with those estrogen receptors so the skin can keep producing collagen. Um, any of those vitamin C serums, antioxidants, and those will be helpful and can be used under your adipo. What do you not want to put under your adipo? You would not want to put an oil-based serum underneath your adipo. We want adipo to be providing those seed oils that we want. So today I'm going to put on a little bit of an Antioch serum that's gonna give me those stem cell cytokines and growth factors. And then I'm gonna put on my Emma Pell serum. Emma Pell is that serum that really goes after that lost collagen. We lose 30% of our collagen in the first five years of menopause. So this is gonna go after that lost collagen and it's really gonna slow down the loss of collagen. I've got on my cytokines, my growth factors, and my MEP. And now I'm going to finish off with my Adipo. Adipo has a very special way that it needs to apply. We call it the finger painting method. 
So I'm going to put a line of it on my finger. And I'm going to show you when you put it on, you don't want to rub back and forth. You just want to apply it like you're painting it on. And I can grab some more. See, I'm leaving this white layer on there. You're going to put that on and leave it on for 10 minutes. We do have fat pad loss on the top of our nose. That's one of the first areas it goes. So I'm sure to get some on there. And now I'm going to put it where I want to regulate fat. I want to get under here and get this area of the jawline where we see we can get that tendency towards jowls. Too puffy of fat. And now I'm going to leave this on my skin for 10 minutes. So many of you have heard of, many of you may have heard in the Korean industry of skin slugging. Skin slugging is where you put on a layer of Vaseline over your skincare products and go to sleep with it like that at night. I want to propose that you use Adipo instead of Vaseline because Adipo actually has beneficial ingredients. It's got that black ginger, it's got those seed oils, and the beneficial ingredients are actually going to go in and help restore lost fat pad and re regulate your collagen production. So by putting this on and leaving it on for 10 minutes, you're doing that similar kind of slugging as you would see in the Korean beauty industry. Now with this, I have a choice. If it's at nighttime, I could go to bed with this on my face like it is if I want to, or I can wait 10 minutes and massage it in or I can take a clean dry cloth and I can wipe off the residue that's left on the skin after 10 minutes. Now, Adipo can also be used on the neck. I can apply it to the neck, I can apply it to the back of my hands, and anywhere that you apply it, you want to use this painting on method and then letting it set for 10 minutes. It's gonna take that 10 minutes for it to work its way down your hair follicle and get to work where that fibroblast activity happens at the very core, the very base of your hair follicle. So this is my nighttime routine. I would put it on, I put it on like this and I leave it on for 10 minutes and then usually I'll rub it in a little bit and then just go to bed with it on my skin with this nice glossy finish. During the day, I'm going to be a little more judicious um, with it. Generally during the day, I'm hitting my target areas. Uh, for me, that is my lip area. So every morning after I finish my serums and even my moisturizer, I'm just going to put on a bit of my Adipo right across that lip area and let it sit there for 10 minutes, sometimes even 20 minutes till I get in the car and I look at the car and I see how shiny <laughs> I am. Then I massage it in and then put my lipstick on and go throughout the day. So Adipo is something that you can use twice a day. In the morning, you can choose to use it all over the way I'm doing, or you could choose, choose to do a spot area, do just your intensive areas that you wanna work on. And then in nighttime, you can use it all over and you layer it on a bit thicker. Now you could use this every night or you might find that you use it every other night or two or three nights a week depending on work that you want to be doing, the amount of regeneration you want to be stimulating. So if you're wanting more regeneration, you're a bit older, you've got some more serious fat pad loss, you might be using this every night where someone else might use it a couple nights a week or three or four nights a week. I get many questions about whether or not you can use retinol at nighttime with this. The recommendation is that you use this most nights and then use retinol on the other nights. In summertime, I have my clients using their retinol serums once a week. So once a week, you're gonna do your retinol protocol and then the other nights you would do your adipo if you like to use your retinol three times a week or two times a week, just alternate it. So one night you're using your adipo, the next night you're using your retinol. And we had see really good results doing that. So adipo is completely acne safe. We haven't seen any problems with people getting breakouts 
from adipo, but what we do see is a little bit of cellular buildup that can happen with adipo, especially if you're blackhead prone. So it's really important with adipo to use the correct support products. That means choosing the right cleanser and the right kind of toner for your skin. I have found with using adipo that I had to pick up my cleansing a little bit and had to actually start using a little stronger toner. So I would normally have used the Enzyme Deep Clean Powder Wash once a week for that deep cleaning. I'm finding I'm using it more often. I'm using it three, four times a week using the Enzyme Wash and then I'm using my toners every day. I'm either using the Hop PLA um, Skin Prep Toner or I'm using Pure Herbs Bubble Tonic or I'm using one of Rhonda Allison's toners. And so I'm using a toner that has a little bit more acid in it so it's helping to keep my pores clean. If you have a real tendency towards blackheads more than I do, you might use an even stronger toner. Maybe you'll use a toner pad with, your, with yours. You could use Skin Scripts Glyco Retinol pads. You could use Bion's Mandelic 5% toner pads, a Lemieux toner pad, a Rhonda Allison toner pad. You could use a toner pad if you are more susceptible to just getting some gunk or buildup in your pores. You want to take care of that. You don't want to get a buildup in your pores because you want your adipose to be able to penetrate and get into the skin. So it's really important to maintain clean pores when you're working with the Adipo products. You will get better results. All right, so I've had my cream on for 10 minutes. What I'm gonna do is just massage it in, have a nice glossy finish for the day. Now, if you have any questions or you want to know how to use these products with the products you have at home, reach out to us at Artist Skin Care. We're really happy to help you put together a skincare routine that works for you. If you go to Art of Skin Care and you log in or you create an account, you are automatically a member. You can go to our reward center and in our reward center, there is a skincare checkup. And that's where a licensed esthetician from Art of Skin Care works with you to create a customized protocol for you. So on that form that you'll fill out, you'll be able to tell us what products you already have, what products you're wanting to add in, your adipo, and we will review it and we will put it all into order for you so that you know just how to use it and get the most benefit from your skincare routine efforts and from your adipo. And if you ever have any questions, of course, please just reach out to Art of Skincare. We're there for you and we'll get you going in the right direction.